Okay, so we are talking about sexy date night fragrances to wear in the cool weather when you want to smell amazing but sexy. So today I have five fragrances that I'm going to share with you from my collection that will do just that. Let's go. So first up on the list from the house of Memo Paris, we have African leather. So this is a warm and spicy scent with a very subtle leather touch. For me, it's a little bit difficult for my nose to pick up on the leather, but I think it's definitely there, but it's hidden and tucked away in the background. If you are looking for a scent that has a prominent leather note, then I would say that this isn't it, as the note of leather is tucked away in the background. This is a very rich and natural aroma that has hints of woods, herbs, and spices. It's a long lasting, but definitely not overpowering. So it'd be a good fragrance to wear out on a date night. Some people say that it reminds them of fragrances that used to be worn in the 80s. It does give off slightly an old school vibe, but I really love it. As for the note breakdown, we have cardamom, leather, cumin, saffron, vetiver, patchouli, geranium, agarwood, bergamot, and musk. Uh, African leather is definitely full bottle worthy. As you can see here, I only have a 10 mil. This was a blind buy for me. I highly recommend to not blind buy anything, but I decided to take the plunge. There are a few fragrances in my collection that I have done a blind buy on, but typically when I do that, uh, I won't buy a full bottle. That's one good thing about some brands is they do offer smaller bottle sizes like this. Uh, and so I decided to go with the smaller bottle size, uh, but I will be upgrading this to a full bottle, 100 mil, because I love it that much. So if you can, get yourself a sample of African Leather by Memo Paris. Next up from the House of Bulgari, we have Man in Black. So this is a stunning fragrance that combines masculine notes and mixes them seamlessly and masterfully with more sensual notes. This gives off a warm, elegant, and mysterious feel that exudes absolute class and refinement. Uh, sillage and projection are moderate with this one. This one works really well if you're, you're in a suit or wearing a leather jacket. It's quite classy and leans masculine in my opinion. As for the note breakdown in the top, we have spices, rum, and tobacco. In the mid, we have leather, iris, and tuberose. And in the base, we have tonka bean, guyac wood, and benzoin. It's a great fragrance to wear that's not overpowering and will be a great pick for a sexy date night. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Man in Black by Bulgari. Next up from the house of BDK, we have Passe Soir Extrait. So this one's a new release from BDK and I was a bit hesitant to purchase this one as I've smelled the original Passe Soir and that one definitely leans quite feminine. All fragrances are unisex, but it definitely pushed feminine and a little bit too feminine for my taste. But uh, once they released the X-ray version, I was curious as they added notes of patchouli and cacao. So I wanted to give it a sniff and I was pleasantly surprised. While it still might lean a bit feminine, it definitely pushes more to the center of unisex and has a slight masculine touch to it with the patchouli note that was added. I mean, this is a fruity, sweet, amber floral fragrance. It has pretty good sillage and projection and longevity as well is great. As for the note breakdown, in the top, we have ginger, mandarin orange, pear, black pepper, and cacao pod. In the mid, quince, Moroccan jasmine, peach, and orange blossom. In the base, we have cashmere, Indonesian patchouli, ambroxan, benzoin, and vanilla. This just kind of goes to show that, you know, don't be afraid 
to dive a bit deeper into fragrances that might lean a bit feminine. You might really surprise yourself and really like it. I mean, look, I'm a, I'm a 40 year old. Not 40 year old. I'm in my 40s. I'm bald and I have a beard and I really enjoy this fragrance and I'm definitely gonna be wearing it. So don't be afraid of those fragrances that you know might lean a little bit feminine. Um, it will definitely work on a sexy date night. If you can, get yourself a sample of Passe Soir Extrait by BDK. Next up from the house of Guerlain, we have L'Homme Ideal Extreme. So this is a really unique fragrance in my collection as I don't have any other fragrances that feature the note of almond. The L'Homme Ideal line is you know, quite known for that particular note and it really helped to put this particular line on the map, especially in the fragrance community. This is a sweet, smooth fragrance with warm, spicy plums, and the tobacco helps to give it a woodiness that really gives this fragrance depth and character. Some may consider it Guerlain to be designer, but I mean, they put out niche quality, and some may argue that Guerlain is actually a niche brand, and I would have to agree with that. As for the note breakdown, in the top, we have almond, pink pepper, and bergamot. In the mid, we have plum, cinnamon, and heliotrope. And in the base, we have tobacco, leather, patchouli, and cedar. This is a very special fragrance with a uniqueness to it that will really help to set you apart. Um, and also, it's a great compliment getter. So if that's what you're after, this is a good one for that. If you can, get yourself a sample of L'Homme Ideal Extreme by Guerlain. Next up, again from the house of BDK, we have Tabac Rose. Now I've featured this one on the channel before. Uh, it is such a sexy rose chocolatey gourmandish scent. You definitely get that blast of rose in the opening. Um, and it's, that rose is also mixed with a bit of plum, so it gives this fragrance a sweetness. As this fragrance starts to dry down, you can definitely start to smell that tobacco note, but it is pushed in the background ever so slightly. Then this fragrance starts to turn more gourmandy, gourmandish, gourmandy, is that even a word? It has a gourmand-like quality, uh, and you can definitely you get hints of uh, chocolate. But this is another one, you know, if you're, if you're a man, don't shy away from fragrances like this. This is a unisex fragrance. Some might say it, it will lean a bit feminine because of the rose note, but this is a beauty. And it's definitely one that not everyone's gonna be wearing, so it's gonna set you apart on that special night with that special someone. As for the note breakdown, in the top, we have plum, pink pepper, an Italian lemon, in the mid, Turkish rose, chocolate, cinnamon, and in the base, tobacco, Indonesian patchouli, and Spanish labdanum. This is an all-star fragrance in my opinion and one of the best from BDK. So if you can, get yourself a sample of Tabac Rose by BDK Parfum. So that's all I have for today. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's content. And let me know down in the comments which fragrances you consider to be sexy date night fragrances. I'd love to hear about them. So I hope you're all staying healthy and well, and I'll see you in the next video.